What's going on everyone, my name is Tenebris Infinite, and today we're going to answer what the best method is for obtaining cement here in Generation Zero. Now that we've moved into the 90s, we finally entered our own Stone Age here in the game with a brand new resource, the titular cement, and brand new buildable structures to use our cement on. In the game right now, we have two methods of obtaining cement, base defense and base assaults. And today, we're going to test two approaches to assaults versus base defense and really suss out here all the need to knows about cement in the process. This is probably going to be a pretty big project, so apologies if this takes a few days to get uh, out to you dudes, but I want to ensure that I'm continuing to bring you all the best information that I can gather, whether there's a hundred of you dudes here with me supporting Generation Zero or 10,000. Now, let's cover some first bases with base assaults and defenses. These are region specific, similar to the rival system we've had for a while now. Essentially, every hour you have a chance of spawning in these base assaults or defenses if you have a base location in the forest region as you exit combat. The base assaults can spawn in whether or not you have a base though. Both of these don't seem to stop each other from spawning in either, but that one's a little bit harder to figure out exactly with all the RNG involved. There's also no minimum score requirement for a base assault to pop up, and getting from square one to entrenched with the base doesn't require too much score investment either, just a couple thousand. In order to get either of these to spawn in, you just need to complete the good news mission in the forest region, and upon completion, you can start generating new defenses and assaults to complete. So, those are the easy parts to cement farming at least out of the way. So now what we have left to figure out is if there's a sliding scale to how much cement you earn from the level of the Phoenix base, and if the difficulty of our wave defenses affect how much cement is earned too. We're going to do 8 Phoenix bases for a full region of max level bases, then we'll do 8 hour by hour and 8 wave defenses too after we figure out what's what cement count wise. If this video helps you out in any way shape or form, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up or potentially subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss a thing about Generation Zero here on my channel, I cover it all and I go super in depth on things. Alright, so now that we have this massive grind done and we have all 8 bases up to the maximum level, we're going to go through and clear out all of them and see how much cement we get at the end of it and see if upgrading all of these guys to the max level was worth the time investment. The question is, can we reach it from up here? I don't know. Without a clear shot... All right, let's try just a Hail Mary. Yes! All right. Boom! There we go! And we got an experimental clock too, from the looks of it. So you dudes wanna know something kinda cool that I found out along the way here? The sledgehammer, the experimental sledgehammer with its fully charged swing, does just as much damage as the RLG as a freaking rocket launcher, man. Here, so that was the damage from the uh, experimental sledge. And there's the damage from the RLG. Pretty much the same. If anything, the experimental sledge might out damage it by just a little bit. Well, we gotta finish it off with the sledge here. Oh jeez. We didn't get we didn't get any cement that time. What the heck? I knew it. I knew that it was a random chance on whether you'd you'd get cement from it. Cause we might be able to do it just here. With the swing. Yeah man! Nice! Seriously, experimental sledgehammer is like pretty high up there in terms of uh, Phoenix Space Assault. Uh, the Phoenix Space Assault kind of meta, I guess. And the final bonk! Nice! Is that the experimental PVG just mini? <laughs> All scrunched up? <laughs> it was! Nice! <laughs> 
good old procedural generation. All right. And another one down. Excellent. I think Tylovedon might be one of my favorite spots to do these Phoenix bases at. It's just super cool climbing up the mountain to come across like a massive Phoenix base. So here's another bit of a fun pro tip with the experimental sledge and destroying these Phoenix command centers. Sometimes you might not want to do the full swing even though it does a disgusting amount of damage because it prolongs the amount of time that you have to recharge for. The less you charge into your swing, the less your recharge time will be and that might be a little bit more useful. But once the command center is down to about a third of its health bar, you could do a full powered swing and that'll finish it off. No cement again though! Man, it always feels good to get to the end of a massive grind such as this one. Nice. And so for all our efforts, we wound up getting 71 bits of cement here, and that's pretty good. I was hoping for over 100, but as it uh, is apparent, cement is an RNG drop, so you aren't insured to get it every single time. But now, let's go on over and do a test where we just run through a level 1 Phoenix base every hour. We set it up, we take it down really quickly, uh, and we'll do that one for the same amount of time here, and then we'll see how much cement we get up to. So luckily enough, the second time around, our grind is going to be much easier. We just have to hit up these Phoenix bases right once they spawn in, hit up eight of them in, in a row, and we'll only have two shield generators to take care of per Phoenix base. And we did wind up getting a similar amount of cement from a level one Phoenix base as the level three Phoenix base. That's pretty cool. Now, funnily enough, going through all of the bases at level 1 yielded 125 cement. A little bit more for our efforts, but it's something that I think will be easily explained at the end of this video. So when it came to wave defense, there were a few more things that I needed to figure out in comparison to base assaults. With the base defense, there is the sliding scale of easy, medium, and hard base defenses, as well as trying to figure out whether or not there was a chance for cement to not drop as you do your wave defenses. And in fact, there is a chance that cement will not drop, but it seems to be a very low one. As well, there is a sliding scale and easy offers the lowest amount of cement, whereas hard offers the highest amount of cement. So now with that figured out, all I have to do is complete hard mode eight more times in order to figure out what a ballpark is of what we could get here. So I think it's pretty awesome that I've come to a definitive answer here uh, for what the best method is for grinding cement here in Generation Zero. So from our first approach of grinding all of the bases up to the max level, we got 71 for our cement. Then when we went through all of the bases just as they spawned in, we got 125 cement. Now the difference between these two is just purely based on RNG odds. The interesting conclusion is that you can grind the level 1 bases and they offer pretty much the exact same rewards that a level 3 base offers. There might be some slight RNG differences, but it's not enough to be readily apparent. So your time is better spent if you're just seeking cement from base assaults to do the base assaults as they spawn in. 
if you grind your whole region up to the max level and then RNG is just bad to you and you wind up getting poor amounts of cement, it's just not a great way to spend your time. When it comes to entertainment value, it's completely worthwhile to upgrade your Phoenix bases to the max level, and there's future things that we'll talk about that require a max level Phoenix base as well, but when you're looking for cement specifically, you probably just want to take down the Phoenix bases as they spawn in. But beyond that, knocking them both completely out of the park, doing eight base uh, defenses on the hard difficulty and completing them yielded 230 cement, an absolutely massive difference between even good RNG odds versus probably not even the best odds that you can get from base defenses. I think if you got perfect rolls each time, you'd wind up with somewhere close to 270 cement for doing 8 base defenses in a row. Now I'm not going to pretend like this is an easy grind, and if you have a hard time completing the base defense missions on hard mode, then don't worry, you can always bump the difficulty down, and you'll still wind up getting better returns most of the time uh, than you would if you were just doing your base assaults. And if you wombo combo the two of them together with both base assaults and base defense, you'll be turning out enough cement to build multiple bases made out of cement. Now all of this does require a pretty large time investment in order to get things going. You do have that hour cooldown for both your base defenses and your base assaults that you'll have to wait out. So if you need any help with killing time here in Generation Zero, I've already got you covered, and the video should be linked right here at the end of the video. But. I just want to say thank you very much for watching, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully this will help you with getting as much cement as you need in order to build all your bases and move properly into the stone age here in the 90s in Generation Zero. Uh, but stay awesome my dudes and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.